Dr. Ragusea, before we went to break, you were talking about your aunt who chose to kill herself. Right. And, uh, I mean, it's hard for some people to grasp, but mm -hmm. um, for her, it was an intelligent, thought-out, considered action. Um, she liked being alive, she enjoyed her life, but she didn't want to hurt her family so terribly when she was just going to die a prolonged, painful, costly death. Mm -hmm. um, and that was her choice. Mm -hmm. And do I think she made the right choice? I don't know, mm -hmm. but it was her choice. Right, it, yeah, it's, it's hard to say. You can't judge her choice, that was her decision, but I think it's also, uh, I don't think it's up to us to decide when we go. And, and that is a moral religi religious position mm -hmm. that some people adopt, but not everybody. Right. Some people, like me, believe in physician-assisted suicide. It's my belief that at such time as our lives become extraordinarily difficult, painful, and we don't have very long to live anyway, if we choose to die a peaceful death, we should be able to do what Socrates did and take some hemlock mm -hmm. um, and uh, or a more peaceful way of dying is available than hemlock. Hemlock's not a very good way, but uh, right. but there are better ways o available. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, and that's th but that's only one small part of suicides. Mm -hmm. uh, and most people shouldn't kill themselves because most problems are temporary and they're going to be resolvable. In all the years I've worked as a psychologist, which is over 35 now, I've never known anybody who tried to kill themselves and failed who six months later wasn't glad they failed. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that brings up an interesting point because how do people who do try to kill themselves, do they function the same afterwards? Or are they, are they always going to be affected by that? Well, uh, and the answer is, that's an interesting question. Um, I don't think we've got any data on that, nothing that I'm aware of at least. Um, my experience is, is that many people who try and fail are very grateful for having been given a second chance. Mm -hmm. um, they know that they came very close to the end of their life. They know they're alive and they go, I think I'll try and do better from now on. Mm -hmm. Good. So they have a good attitude about it. Yeah, by and large, that's my experience. Hopefully they don't try to do it again down the line. But Except some people do. Mm -hmm. And that's and that, by the way, is one of the warning signs. When somebody um, when somebody has tried to kill themselves before and failed mm -hmm. and they start acting suicidal again, everybody better believe them. Mm -hmm. okay? um, that, by the way, is one of the myths about suicide, is that when people talk about suicide, they don't really mean it, they're looking for attention. Mm -hmm. That isn't true. What's true is that most people who eventually kill themselves talk about it with important people in their lives. So when somebody tells you that they're thinking about suicide, believe it. Mm -hmm. Don't minimize it and don't dismiss it. Take it very seriously. Now this brings up another interesting point, Dr. Ragusea, because I can say that I had someone in my life, someone that I was in a relationship with, and they made suicide attempts. And it got to the point where you have to take it seriously, but then are they just, do they just want that attention from you? You know, how far is too far with it? How much can you really get involved with that person's life? Well, well, first of all, you should always take it seriously, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Never, ever th see it as an attention-getting device. The reason for that is, is, number one, are there people who make suicidal behaviors or engage in suicidal behaviors because they want attention? And the answer is yes, okay? But they die too, mm -hmm. okay? What often happens is, is they wind up taking too many pills, drinking too much alcohol, and they almost die and they get some attention. And then what happens is, is whatever it is they tried to manipulate happens, it goes their way, let's say, but then they get, get depressed three, six months later, they do the same thing again, this time they die. Okay, so always take it seriously. That's the first answer to your question. The next an part of the answer to the second part of your question, or to your question, I got confused in all there, <laughs> in all that. Um, in any case, is to recognize that just because somebody is suicidal, and just because we take them seriously, doesn't mean you have to change their life, your life, mm -hmm. to make them happy. 
that's not your responsibility mm -hmm. if you were involved in some romantic relationship with somebody who continued to make suicidal attempts and you didn't want to be involved with them you want to get out of the relationship mm -hmm. what you do is you say here's the name of a good psychologist you can talk to you need help I am not that help goodbye mm -hmm. <laughs> no that that's the answer I wish at the time it could be that simple because when you're connected to that person for some reason there's something in us where we think we have to save that person's life we have to change that person that's correct and that isn't true mm -hmm. each of us is responsible for our own lives you know virtually everybody thinks about suicide everybody have you not no, I can't say that. I mean, there's been times, of course, that okay, I'm you like go. everyone. You you, you're right. Okay, exactly. you do deal with the total. It's, it's universal. What the, 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 the most iconic American film is It's a Wonderful Life. Mm -hmm. And everybody has seen that. They play it every Christmas. It's a wonderful movie. Great Frank Capra film. And the whole plot resolves, revolves around the lead actor attempting suicide. He gets so depressed because he's in financial trouble that he's going to kill himself. He's going to jump off a bridge. Okay? Mm -hmm. He has this wonderful family, great kids. He's loved by everybody in the town, but he wants to die. And then what happens is an angel comes down and helps him save his life. Okay? And, and that, I think that captures the fact that suicide is a part of almost everybody's life in the sense that we all consider it. We may not all try it, but we all consider it. All right. Well, on that note, we're going to take a quick break right now, but there is much more to come this morning.